This video documents my attempts at propagating morels. We're going to try to plant some morels today. I've been gifted a few older morels, maybe a little past the prime for eating, but probably really good for spawn, uh, or spore as they call it. Um, and uh, we'll be following some instructions about how to prepare a bed and prepare some uh, spawn to seed that bed uh, and perhaps propagate some morels. A very difficult thing to do. Here I've assembled a few of the materials I'll be using. First, I've got an elm log from a dead elm tree that a friend of mine had to cut down. You can see the uh, evidence of the bark beetles that killed this tree in the soft, loose bark characteristics of, it, uh, of elms. Um, the white wood. So I'm going to use this uh, elm tree uh, to uh, seed the, uh, the bed as well as uh, planting it near uh, some elms that are living. I'm going to add a bit of peat moss, uh, some sand, and then some ashes from the same elm tree that my friend uh, burnt in a great pile there. Uh, morels are known to like uh, burned areas, and so hopefully these materials will be good for the, uh, good for the morels. I've now made a great pile of elm sawdust that we will mix in to the soil. I've decided to put my little morel garden right in here. Back in this area, easy for me to find and get to. Underneath the branches of an elm tree, uh, kind of in a little shady spot here. This tends to be a wet area in the land. Not the wettest, uh, but certainly not uh, easily dried out. Um, I've got a couple of really small elm trees. Uh, you can see right here growing up. So maybe they'll uh, replace this big elm when it finally does succumb to Dutch elm disease. And uh, so hopefully this will be a good spot for my uh, growing morel garden. I've chopped up a few pieces of this elm. I'm going to use it to maybe bury some of them. Use it to form the edge of the uh, bed just so I have a way to find it again. Getting ready to mix this elm ashes and elm sawdust into an area that I've prepared with peat, moss, and sand. Taking a few of these elm splits, just driving them in into the middle of the bed to provide lots of old wood down there where it'll rot. Uh, I don't never read any instructions that said to do that, but what the heck. I've made a little wall of elm around the outside just so I can keep track of the place once the weeds grow up. And uh, so we'll see how this works. All right, I've got a little bed here, a lot of elm wood in it, elm sawdust, sand, and uh, if I can get it in the picture, underneath the shade of a live elm tree, Got a few, few young growing elms right around it. Maybe all this will make a good place for a few more elves. We'll see. 
I'm preparing to sterilize two one gallon canning jars by boiling them. Here I have some sterilized jars and a pan full of mushrooms and some sterilized tools. I'm going to be wearing nit nitro gloves when I'm uh, preparing them although the morels definitely have some dirt on them I'm going to try to introduce as little uh, extra contamination as I can. In the next step I've got about a gallon of, of pure purified water uh, that I've put in some uh, half gallon canning jars. We're going to put a pinch of salt and a tablespoon of molasses in each one of them. I'll let these jars stand for a day or two to let the spores germinate before I uh, go out and seed them. This is called the slurry method. It's not as reliable as some of the other ones. However, uh, I'm not sure I could pull off the sterile techniques that are required for the uh, more reliable methods. I may also seed this same bed with some uh, commercial spore and uh, I'll probably pour these various places around my uh, little acreage here and see if I can uh, see if I can get them to grow under some trees as well. I've let these two jugs of slurry sit in a darkened room for 24 hours. Shake them up every once in a while. Uh, hopefully they haven't grown too much that isn't uh, morels. All right, so now I'm ready with my uh, jug of morel uh, spawn slurry and my little prepared bed, and we'll uh, start inoculating it. The instructions I had say to strain out the pieces of mushroom. I really don't see the point in that. Uh, so we're just going to take this and pour it various places in the bed. Well, there you have it. Hopefully that's a, uh, a way to plant some mushrooms on my place uh, in a couple of years. Maybe we'll see them. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll never know. Uh, thanks a lot. I uh, hope this was instructive.